Hi, I'm Jeremy Saffer. I'm a celebrity and music photographer. We're gonna talk about five tips for band photo shoots. Tip one, preparation. Always research the band you're going to shoot. Have an idea of what they look like. Have an idea of what you want to do lighting-wise. Making sure you know what you want to do, the location you're going to shoot, what locations are available to you is vital, especially if you're shooting in a venue. Knowing when doors open, what areas you have access to. Little pro tip there, ask the venue. The venue might get you into areas you don't have access to for your photo shoot, which is always awesome. But if doors are open and you only have a small dressing room to, to shoot with, you don't have as many options as shooting before doors. So knowing where you're shooting, knowing what you're gonna do, knowing the look of the band, knowing what you wanna do lighting-wise, always vital. As you're preparing, you wanna do your setup, get your lights set up and do test shots with an assistant or with somebody else prior to the band coming into set. You don't want the band to come into set and then you have to set up. You wanna be ready to go so when that band comes into set, you're good to knock out the shoot. Also, you want to plan your shoots in order of importance. So if you have your vital cover shot, you want to make sure to knock that out first and everything else beyond that is just additional. You want to make sure your most important shot is done and in the bag before you move on to other things. So always plan for that, test for that, and have that knocked out, especially when you have those short five minute, one minute, 30 second photo shoots, that first shot is vital. Tip number two, direct the band. I see so many situations where a photographer won't give any direction to a band or a band will shoot with me and I'm very directive. I'll say thank you for giving us directions. No one else does and we don't know what to do. We can't see what we look like, you can. You know your lighting, you know the look you wanna get, they don't. So posing them, chin up, chin down, turn your body this way, take a step toward me, take a step back. Those things are vital. Always direct a band when you're shooting. Don't be afraid to give the marching orders to get the shots that you need and that they want. Always show the band the back of camera, it gives them an idea of what everything's looking like and you get immediate feedback. For one, it can hype them up to the shoot. If they're not super into it, because it's a long day, they have a lot to do that day, they see the shot, they're pumped, awesome. Two, it gives you that feedback if something's not working. They can say, hey, can we change this? Can we change this look? It doesn't work for our band. Really important to get that rather than waste your time doing a whole shoot that's gonna get scrapped. And then, big pro tip, Sometimes I'll show band back of camera and I'm on a magazine job, shooting for a magazine. They'll see back of camera and go, whoa, this is amazing. Can we hire you right now and pay you to shoot extra shots of us? And that's how I can turn one job into two jobs and sometimes that second job pays a little bit more, which is awesome. When posing the band, you wanna work with symmetrical poses if you can, those tried and true poses for your safe shot. Of course you can get crazy and do whatever you want after getting your safe shot, but the V shape, the W shape, those symmetrical shots with three and five and six and beyond always looks great. Tip number three, camera settings. Don't shoot wide open. If you're doing solo shots, of course you can shoot at f2.8 or below. But if you're shooting groups of three, five, six, you don't wanna be at f2.8. You wanna be up there. So if I'm shooting a group of three, I'm shooting at f4, f5.6. If I'm shooting a group of five, if I'm shooting a group of six, nine, which happens every now and again, I'm gonna be shooting f8, f13. I'm gonna be shooting up there so everyone's in focus. If I'm shooting at f4 and I have a group of nine, First couple people might be in focus, but everyone in the back is just blurry and you don't want that for a successful shot. You wanna make sure everyone's in focus, so make sure to close up your f-stop a little bit. Another thing you can do to change up the look while you're shooting is change the color temperature of your camera and your lighting. So what I'll do is I'll have my front light set to 3000K, my camera set to 3000K, giving that full CTO color temperature orange, and have my back light set to 5600, therefore giving them that kind of pale blue moonlit kind of look, giving that really cinematic look. And it always looks awesome to do that quick switch and then switch it right back so you have that different look for at least a couple shots or at least a full set. Tip number four, lighting. If you're shooting a band all in black on a dark background, you wanna have separation or you're just gonna have a bunch of floating heads. So rim lighting, back lighting, very important to add that separation from your band and the black background. Oftentimes I'm shooting bands wearing all black. I shoot a lot of metal bands. They dress like I do, all black, sometimes more all black. 
So having that separation is vital, making sure you can see the shapes of what they're wearing, see the clothing, and have that separation so they're not just a blob of darkness and floating heads. That's vital. So the pros of continuous lighting, and I use Nanlite and they're great, you don't have to do test shots. It's not like strobes where you have to do a test shot, look in back of camera, make micro adjustments, having those LEDs, being able to shoot as quickly as possible and make those changes as quickly as possible when you're getting as much variety as you need in your shots is vital and so awesome when you're working quickly and efficiently. Controlling your environment with lighting is super important, especially if you don't have a background with you, you're shooting in a venue or you're shooting anywhere where there's a lot of stuff behind you, road cases, a stage, backdrops, whatever. If you're shooting in a messy environment, control your lighting using directional lighting, using lighting from above, put an egg crate on it and you have that lighting straight down, you're not gonna see everything around them. It's gonna build a studio for you without needing a background. Everything else is gonna go dark as long as your lighting is brighter than the lighting around them. As much lighting is coming from behind them and above them, rather than straight on, you'll be able to control your environment with the lighting. And that is really important when you're shooting in messy environments, which happens quite often when you're shooting in venues, on location, and outside of studios. Tip number five, shots and composition. You always wanna get that safe shot first. Sometimes you're gonna have those 30 second, one minute photo shoots where the band's walking from the dressing room, they stop on your set, and then they go on to the stage to play their show. You wanna make sure to knock out that first shot perfectly. So if I have a minute, I'm gonna take that first 30 seconds to pose them, and then I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna make sure it's 100% before I even take that first shot. When you're shooting for editorial, always shoot a little bit wider. So whoever's doing the graphic design has room to move the photo in the layout so you don't have a fold in the middle of the, the singer's face and you have that leeway for text to exist in the pages. When you shoot, you wanna get as much variety as possible in as short a time as possible. The band's on a schedule, and especially if you're shooting on a show day, they have a lot to do. Even on an off day, they wanna relax. So you wanna make sure you can do as many quick changes as possible. So what I'll do is I'll have a four light set up. I'll kill two lights, different look. Move a light around, different look. Change the color of the lights, different look. Change the color temperature, different look. Change the direction of the lighting, different look, and I'll make it as quick as possible. And never take the same shot twice. Always change the pose. Be directive, directing the band so you get a different shot every time you press the shutter. Take a knee, get that shot looking up to make them look more epic. Shoot straight on, shoot from the side, change the lighting. Get all that variety so you get a successful shoot. Lastly, get solo shots. If you're shooting a band, make sure you do a round of solo shots with everybody. If you have a lighting set you really like and you love the look of it, say, hey guys, we're gonna do a round of solos with this. Let's knock it out and get your solo shots. Final tip, have fun. We're all fans with cameras. That's how we got started in shooting music. We're all fans. Have fun with it. Now think of your dream photo shoot with the band you would love to do a photo shoot with. What band is it? Leave it in the comments below. I'm Jeremy Saffer. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you got something out of this and thank you.